Hello Libra. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. This week, Libra, we are doing the fairy reading, so you're going to get a message directly from the fairy deck. A fairy is going to come forward and talk to you. And we're going to read from the book to get details from the reading to you. And then we're going to go to the tarot, and we're going to find out what this fairy would like you to release, what this fairy would like you to embrace, give you a little hint of um, hidden factors that you were unaware of that are affecting, you know, your life, what's going on, and then energy that is approaching you. So there is an extended also at the end of this reading. The link is at the top of this description if you're drawn to it, and the extended is all about your inner child speaking to you. So Libra, let's get started. I'm sorry if you can hear them, but it's like dueling a lawnmower outside right now. It's sunny and warm. It's kind of like approaching the middle of November, right? And from where I am, this is not typical weather. So everybody's like doing everything they can. They're cutting the grass. They're raking the leaves. They're putting up the Christmas lights. Because nobody wants to do Well, you can't really cut the grass when it's snowy and cold, right? So everyone's getting the last lawn cut in. Getting it nice and short. Sir. <laughs> And uh, yeah, getting the I think I'll probably put our my decorations out soon. I do not like having cold hands, so I'm going to do that while the weather's warm. So Libra, I'm sorry if you hear the dueling lawnmower. No, you don't. I have to close all the windows. A fairy card for Libra. this week and I don't know who it is. This is an interesting little card. <laughs> and take note of the face and the expression because it's going to come up in the reading. <laughs> so number 65. Oh gosh, I can already feel like getting hot in here with the sun. Um, number 65. I still have my orthodontic device so Bear with me with my pronunciations and all these good things. The feline. Getting it right. Delayed completions. Tidying up loose ends. Okay, they're going to talk about Brian, and that's the creator of this. Brian notes, so this is the accusing, offended expression we see on the cat's face saying, you know I have my dinner at 5 o'clock. I think even dogs will give you this look. Or it's more like, a, are they never going to feed me again? Brian adds that the feline is also known as a slight accusation or an accusation of slight. One of my cats, the Magi, that Magi, is the feline's first cousin and has mastered the family expression. She uses it for all sorts of things, but I have often seen it elsewhere as well. I may even have used it myself once or twice. We know the feline is near, nodding his head, when we hear remarks like, I thought you'd have my shirt ironed for me. You said you'd get the brakes fixed. Or, you mean that report isn't done yet? The feline speaks to us when we know we deserve it, but are pretending we don't. He is the voice that whispers in our ears just as we try to settle down for a good book, a new computer game, or our favorite leisure activities, and we experience that old familiar guilty feeling. Alcohol only drowns him out temporarily and gives people hangovers as well, so it's not a useful remedy, although it is widely used. In fact, that particular avoidance tactic usually causes the feline to raise his voice even louder the next morning, in a particularly piercing tone. I don't even know that I have read all these parts of this before. There's a whole message coming in with this that I never pulled in before. And it's totally like um, being in some sort of a happy, an, an, an unhappy connection. Um, so there's no desire to get certain things done is what I'm feeling. Like, it, it could be at work. Like, you just, ugh, you just, you really couldn't care less. It could be at home. So it's hard to get the mojo going to get it done. So you end up dealing with this other energy around you, your boss, a co-worker, 
a spouse, a kid, a roommate, whatever it is, a neighbor. Um, yeah, okay. So you know I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna have another beer or I'm gonna I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna have a glass of wine and read my book because it's more interesting. It's more, but it's almost like putting stuff off that kind of should get done. It is important to get the brakes fixed. Um, and it's also important if we, you know, we say we're gonna do things for people that we actually follow through and we do them. It starts to bring us down. It's a whole, it's a whole atmosphere of vibrational energy that starts to kind of pile up and create a very heavy atmosphere. Okay, so in the reading, the feline looks out of his card accusingly, reminding us of things undone, promises unkept and duties unfulfilled. He says that we can't expect to have things go right when we are trailing so much unfinished business behind us. Dragging this stuff around tires us. It uses up energy that we need for other things. If we would just take care of these things that cause so much mental and sometimes physical clutter, we would suddenly find that we have a lot more energy at our disposal to do the things that we really want to do. And probably much more cooperation from others as well. He especially suggests that we take care of the little things that matter to others. We will feel so much better when we have done that. And so will he. This is interesting. Uh, you know, it is so funny, like stuff comes into my head and I just randomly think about things and then it kind of pops into the reading and I'm going to share it with you was like I've had a lot of things that I needed to kind of do in the last few months and there's been points where I didn't even start some of the projects because I thought, I don't know, like there's so many steps involved to getting to completion, it seems impossible. And then at one point, I just felt like I felt this feeling, kind of like this feline staring at me, like your subconscious too. Your subconscious saying, you got to start to try to get some of it done because it's weighing on you. It distracts you. It, it pulls you from other things. It pulls your mind from other things. So I would just look at it and go, okay, what can I do today? Like, don't look at the whole picture, which is really unusual for me because I've always been one to say, like, if you have a big project, don't look at how much you have left to do. Look at what you've accomplished and focus on what you're doing, right? Because if you look at where you've got to go, like maybe you still have 100 steps and you've only done 10. Don't focus on the 100 steps because it's just gonna bring your, your mojo down. So yeah, and I was walking this morning, I thought about, I've got a lot done the last few months. I was kind of proud of myself for all the little things I've done and I have stuff lined up, like as you're watching it this week of things that I need to get done that seemed at one point like so far away. But now here I am doing them. I thought, wow, all I needed to do was the one thing that I felt like I could take on today. What is the one thing I feel like I can take on today? And it almost, it almost lays out the seven of pentacles for you, which is, you know, trying to come up with a plan, trying to strategize, trying to get things organized so you can have some sort of success down the road. And so that would be done. And often it was, I needed someone else to assist me. Like I needed some other professional that knew it, you know, beyond my expertise on certain things that I had to get done. And so these people would now lead me to my next steps. And there were some things that, yes, I needed to do. And so I would do that <laughs> and I would let them know. I was like, okay, good. Okay, now I'll do this for you. And then we'll, <laughs> like, so that's a really good way to, I'm feeling this for you, kind of like having a lot of things you need to do and maybe a lot of different elements of your life. And it's getting, because yeah, like if it's just one big project, one big thing in your life that you need to focus on, then you know what? It's not so hard thinking about, okay, step one will take me here. Step two will take me here. Step three. But if it's multiple things and multiple responsibilities that have to do with your, your real life, it can become overwhelming because you're like, oh, but I feel like I need to do this and that today and that. And then it just pulls you all over the place. Interesting how that came through. Yeah. Don't look at how many steps you have to go forward. Look at what you've accomplished and what you need to do today. That's my little, that's my little thing to get it going. Yeah. And I do have to say that I often get this face from Lily, my little dog Lily. <laughs> And because it's a day worth Lily, I don't feel like doing any of it. I'm just gonna read my book. I'm gonna watch some 
Netflix. Looking at me like you know you have stuff to do. Okay, so what does Feline want to uh, talk to you about releasing? I kind of like this because um, releasing, embracing, something you're not aware of and energy is approaching you. It's kind of how to prepare, how to make a plan here. It's funny, this week is the first time I've ever, oh, it's your card too. My, uh, my laundry is, see, that's always one of the other things. So, and then two, like it's not just like big things in your life that you need to deal with, but you need to deal with that. And you need to get the laundry done and you need to clean the house and you need to make the lunches and you need to get the groceries. <laughs> like that's out that, you know, that feline energy of all the, th all the adulting that needs to go on to have success in life. What are you being asked to release? Oh, you. There's your card, Justice, and look at how the sun shines on it so beautifully. Justice. Okay, I feel like, too, I feel like some of you are along this ride for me where maybe you have had a lot of things you've needed to deal with, and you've been getting it done. And you're kind of feeling like um, not so behind the eight ball anymore. Uh, a little bit in front of the eight ball. Does that make sense? Can you be in front of the eight ball instead of behind the eight ball? Don't you want to be behind the eight ball? Because if you're behind the eight ball, aren't you controlling things? That seems more accurate to me now. Yeah, but don't they say behind the... I don't know. Maybe I get... <laughs> anyway, maybe just don't get on the pool table at all. You are... I want to say release. Release. I, I'm feeling like, A, you have done a lot of things that you needed to do. And there's a lot of things working in the background now due to things that you've been that you've accomplished there's a lot of stuff working in the background due to the accomplishments that you've made so release some of this um struggle for balance and even organization if it's ringing through for you i'm going to clarify stuff as well i do really see this like releasing yourself release yourself from certain commitments um Release yourself to the karmic cycle. Allow things to come into balance and play for you at this point. Now, so what are you being asked to embrace? The king of earth, the king of pentacles. That is a really, really solid, grounded. This dude has it all together. <laughs> this dude probably wouldn't go through everything that I've been going. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Like, this is the guy that has all the answers. This guy usually has all the answers. Is it could be the boss, could be the father, the husband, uh, the neighbor that, you know, I have a friend like this, my Piscean friend. If I don't know what to do or what the, I, she always knows. It blows me away. <laughs> I could ask anything like, do you know what's on the top floor of the building down in this little town? Oh yeah. Do you know? <laughs> she knows. She's been there. It's crazy. It's kind of like that. So. I think kind of embrace, embrace a new possibility for yourself, a very grounded, look at yourself as um, achieving a certain new status, a certain new status to see yourself in maybe, a certain new status. I don't know, what does he got to say to me? He's looking at me really stern. <laughs> He's looking at me really stern. Oh, there must be something we forgot to do, Libra. <laughs> I feel like that. There must be something that we've forgotten to do. Because look, his face looks so much like the feline, doesn't it? Ah, yeah, it's like, okay, it's like having that father figure and you got everything done. Oh, there's so much, I'm sorry. I can't, it's so bright in here. It's like, yeah, I got it all done, Dad. I got it all done. <laughs> did you? You got it all done. I did, I did. Well, okay, you didn't rake the leaves. No, I raked the leaves. Well, there's the backyard. Oh, you want me to do the backyard? It kind of feels like that, like there's something, something that we're forgetting to do. I'm kind of taking this in for me too because it's very relatable. This king of earth kind of feels like someone looking in though. Oh, get ready to embrace it. You're being asked to embrace it. Somebody might point something out to you that you didn't get done. 
okay, we can deal with it. We can handle it, right? Because we're releasing. We're kind of releasing. Oh, right? You're releasing a lot of stuff that you've been working on. You're freeing yourself up in a new way. And as I said, all the work that you've done up to this point is now creating energy working around you that's getting stuff done. But there's something. Somebody's going to come in and remind you something <laughs> didn't get done. So the hidden factor that you were unaware of is love. It's pretty interesting the way she rests on this. Okay, that's like the lover's card. The lover's card in the tarot. So we have your card. We have Gemini energy. Um, this is something you're unaware of. Somebody's resting in love. I just feel like that. Like they're both resting here. There's some sort of love resting. Perhaps there's some sort of choice or offer that's resting right now, but you're unaware of it. So let's see where this goes. Because this is interesting because the energy that's approaching you is the tower. Oh, but we got everything organized, right? <laughs> we got ahead of everything. We're ahead of the eight ball now. <laughs> I don't know where that goes. But yeah, like, hmm, let's clarify. Some sort of change. I feel like it's a very big energetic change here. Because everything here seems very calm and settled and organized. And even resting. And then it's a tower. Which is not a big dramatic tower. Like everything is not falling apart. The, your world isn't falling apart. But there's going to be some kind of big energetic change. That's very different from all of this energy. So let's, let's just see here. I really feel like the king of earth and the feline are telling us we forgot to do something. <laughs> or it could just be something simple like, you know, if you sign if you sign some documents and then you didn't date it. So your accountant or lawyer or whoever says, oh, you need to, they email you know, that back. You didn't, you didn't date the, oh, maybe it's just that. Not really a tower moment though, is it? interesting combination wow the hidden factor is pretty interesting we're releasing this we're kind of i feel like releasing to the universe let the universe handle this shit now it really feels like that like you've done whatever you can do i'm really getting that message for you that's if you did the things you know you have to do <laughs> if you if you're getting this reading, you're kind of like, oh, Cindy, there's uh, still a bunch of stuff that I need to get done. I haven't gotten that done. Okay, well, you're getting there. So look at this as being in the future. So if you're kind of where I am, thinking, yeah, I got all my T's crossed and my I's dotted. I'm all good. I got the Four of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So you're releasing this. You're letting this all go. So letting it go. Letting yourself go. Freeing yourself to the journey, really, at this point. Um, there's been, like, disappointment or missing out. Maybe intentionally missing. This could be intentionally missing out, too, with what's coming in, like, almost having a lot of little things on your plate, like get the brakes fixed and rake the leaves and cut the grass. And, and the Nine of Wands, I mean... Whew, tired, exhausted, um, finished with all of this. Can't really go much further. And then we have the Page of Cups, which is a gentle communication, gentle offer, like release all this. I want to say just, you know what, give yourself a break. I kind of feel like that. Give yourself a break because I'm getting with the Four of Cups, intentionally missing out on certain things. But making that as a choice, perhaps, because you did have a lot of stuff that you're doing that you had to deal with. 
whether it is like physical things in your world, emotional things, um, relationships, people, you know, work. And you're kind of like tired. Release the fatigue. Release the offers. Do your thing, I'm really hearing. Like, do your thing, Libra. Just do your thing right now. That really is, it's, it's clarified what I felt. It's like it's time to allow the universe to do whatever the universe needs to do, and you do your thing. Okay, so embrace. <laughs> you know, you're embrace. You're gonna embrace uh, this father-like figure. This I feel the gosh, like, there's something you forgot to do. Is there something you forgot to do? Don't forget to do it. The Moon, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Interesting. It's a lot like going, well, you know, going into the unknown. Because we don't know. It feels like, it feels like there's some sort of fatherly figure telling you, telling us, that there's something we forgot to do. Maybe we forgot to just explore the unknown possibilities here. And I really like it, like exploring it with the Knight of Wands energy. Just, you know, I'm just exploring it for the sake of it. Let's, let's have some fun here. Let's enjoy the moment. Let's, the sun is shining, right? The sun is shining. Let's go for some walks. Let's, I don't know. Let's see what's around the corner today. And the Queen of Cups is embracing, just embracing happiness and love all around. Embrace this. It sounds nice, no? Like if there's a lot that you've had to do, a lot of responsibility, there's this feline energy has been looking at you like, come on, you know you need to get this, come on. <laughs> you know you need to be like, oh. Just a little, oh yeah, see, I thought I had everything I needed to do. And then my accountant, she said, no, you need to send that. Did you do this? I did not do that. So <laughs> you need to do that. Oh, okay, so I did that, right? Like, so now, yeah, like embrace, and this is a very stable energy. I'm going to, there's something about this king, of, i got to ask a question from him. He's really bothering me. <laughs> like, coming through. Him and the feline are giving me such a dirty look. What did I forget? What did I forget to do? Excuse me for a second, this might be a person. Just, I gotta ask this King of Pentacles and the Feline. What did I forget to do? What did me and Libra forget to do here? I really feel like there's something that we forgot to do. Oh, that's too much. Holy shit. Boy, he's bossy. That's a lot of cards. <laughs> it's too much, dude. Like, give us one. One important thing we forgot to do. What did Cindy and Libra forget to do? Find the sun. <laughs> okay. Oh, and the, it, oh, you know why they're looking at us? Because you've done too much. It's time to go and have some fun. That's what it is. It's not so much the fatherly figure, but the grandfatherly figure. Because you know, the fatherly figure is the one who has to be the hard ass. The one that has to tell you, you know, and be, you know, yeah. Like I remember my mom said, I wish, if I knew being a grandparent was going to be so much fun, I would have done it first. <laughs> It's more work being the parent. It's the grandfatherly. And it is. It's an old dude. It's the old guy looking at you saying, hey, did you forget to have fun? You got all your shit done. Because they would. Yeah. Like, I don't remember. My grandfather and I, we would go sneak ice cream before dinner. <laughs> Just you have to keep it quiet. Don't let your granny know we'll be in trouble. So, yeah. Look it. You forgot to go and have fun. Embrace the fun. That's what this old wise energy is telling you. Go have some fun. Go explore the unknown and do it with some excitement and just have love in your heart and see what happens. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> right? Aren't you glad we asked? So hidden factors that you were unaware of is the love. And look at how it's resting. It's resting. Maybe it's maturing. It's strengthening too with the lion card. The lion heart. I'm hearing the lion heart for some reason. Oh, that's interesting too because the clarifies are two of cups, two of wands, and the sun. Bro, wow, like, yeah, Leo. Lots of Leo energy coming in here. So 
so that you're unaware of this. Perhaps you're unaware that if you go on an adventure, you may find love. You may find love. You may find like a really beautiful love. Something perhaps that you've been looking for with the two of wands or dreaming about, imagining. Because it's the two of cups and the sun. And what, what, what's the old, the old guy telling you to embrace is the sun, your wish fulfillment. Go find your wishes and your dreams come true. Make them come true. Go out and find them and let them come true. Because right now, I feel like they're resting. This is a hidden factor here. So, uh, energy that is approaching you is the tower. The tower has the three of swords, the seven of pentacles, and the ace of wands. This is approaching you. So it feels like it's outside of you. It's something or someone with a broken heart. Their mind and their heart are conflicted in a situation possibly to do with you if it's coming towards you. The seven of pentacles. Maybe this person has had a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> I was talking about, you know, you get something done and then the universe just kind of says, okay, well, this is the next thing that you have to do now. That's the next step that makes sense. So this person has been working on a lot of things, trying to get a lot of things um, organized. Perhaps even trying to create some sort of a new beginning for themselves with the Ace of Wands. Trying them... Something... There's a new beginning here. And it, it is very... Um, it's very passionate energy. Very passionate, energetic, happy, creative energy that's coming towards you. So yeah, that's, that's, I'm thinking, I feel like I forgot to, uh, to do something here, but that's it. Oh, I know. Now, I specifically asked what the old guy, <laughs> you know, the king of earth is asking here, which is kind of funny because the old guy, that's what I used to call my grandfather when I was little. I think it threw my grandmother for a loop. I think I was like maybe five, four or five. And apparently I just walked in the house and I said, granny, where's the old guy? <laughs> Hey, Grandpa, where's the old guy? And then I just call him that for, like, the longest time. So that's kind of funny. But that's what that reminds me of, the grandfather saying, you know, you've just done a lot of work. Why don't you go have some fun? <laughs> Why don't we go have some fun? Let's go swimming. Let's go fishing. But the feline, I want to know. This feline feels like the nag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, the feline feels like the energy of someone kind of nagging on you. Maybe you're subconscious, or maybe it is a person in your life. And then the king of earth is like, you need to get away from that and go have some fun. <laughs> you need to really go have some fun and find some fun. So what would the feline tell us? Because the feline is definitely giving me a dirty look. The feline. Let's see, he's got a few things to say. He's got three. Wow, it's talking about the broken heart again. The Three of Swords, the High Priestess, and the King of Wands. I gotta tell you, there is some really fiery, wandy area energy. It's trying to come towards you. It's hidden in something unknown. It's very unknown, right? Hey, there's something unknown to you. There's something unknown to you that has to do with love, the Two of Cups, and the Sun. The Sun twice. Wish fulfillment, happiness. Um... Yeah. Did you forget about this? I don't know. You had a lot on your plate. <laughs> Out of it. Oh, but maybe. We'll go on a little adventure and see where it takes you. Because it's unknown, right? You're being asked to embrace. The King of Earth was telling you here, the moon is part of embracing the unknown. And then the feline is talking to you here about the High Priestess. And both of these are like very secretive unknown energies. So, who knows what's around the corner? What's around the corner is the Empress in the world. The Empress. The Empress is around the corner. Really good abundance. Really, uh, I'm say, I just got like voluptuous. Voluptuous energy. Uh, sexy mon chéri. All that stuff. All right. 
don't know, it's, this is a really interesting reading. It's been different from the ones you've been getting lately. You've been getting like these really deep philosophical kind of stuff, but this is kind of, kind of interesting. There you go, Libra. I'm going to go do the extended and see what your inner child has to say about all of this. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.